The Audi Quattro was the only wonder to come from this period of imaginative and technically creative development. Some say that this is the greatest rally car ever. The Peugeot 205 T60. It was Peugeot 205. That was really, really amazing when it came, that uh, the Group B car. It was the power and everything, and they were, they were winning everything. That was really, really, when I was young. That pushed Group B right to the limits, and just the looks and the styling of the car was tremendous, and uh, to watch people like Ari and Kankin and drive the car. Debuting in Corsica in 1984, it took only three events for the T16 to become a winner. And from then on, the little Peugeot became the yardstick for all manufacturers. It was a special car because at this time, it was uh, the, the only one car who was uh, thought very cleverly with a central engine, four-wheel drive, turbocharged, uh, turbocharged engine, and it was really the first car, rally car, made for rally at this period. I was test driver during the development, that means in uh, 83. Also in 84, and in 84 I drove for the first uh, three rallies. ex Peugeot sporting director Nicolas was part of what some call Team France, comprising of some of France's best, including the current Ferrari M1 Supremo, Jean Todt. And the man that would go on to design the all-conquering Citroën Zara, Jean-Claude Bocard. You always find with manufacturers, they push the technology to the next limit, you know, and you, you, you can... If you get in a situation where you put a, a good bunch of designers together and a forward-thinking uh, team who are willing to explore uh, new age technology and development and all areas of car performance, aero and everything, that's what comes out the other end and that's clearly how the Peugeot operation was working then. At the beginning the car was difficult to drive because there was not um, power steering. It was very, uh, very hard for the arm. Uh, then, uh, in end of 84, we had the power steering, but we, we have got more power, which was a lot with a um, car around uh, 1,000 kilos, and uh, it was a very, very fast car, and the corners came very, very quickly. So that was the difficulty, but it was so easy to drive and very, very easy. It was a fantastic car. Taking advantage of its massive 500 horsepower engine, the 205 T16 secured 16 World Championship victories and two drivers and manufacturers titles in 1985 and 1986. We had at this time the best driver in the world possible. Harry Vatanen, Kankunen, Timo Salonen, uh, French Bruno Sabi, uh, one or two times uh, Michel Mouton. Uh, it was a dream team at this time. Like Ford with the Escort, Peugeot's interest in the car went purely for sport. Peugeot 205, not only as a, as a fantastic car and a revolutionary concept, but also Peugeot 205, uh, I mean, played an important role in uh, rescuing Peugeot from that uh, they were on the, the brink of the collapse at that time. And, and without 205, um, I don't, you know, I mean, it would have gone on belly up. So thanks to the Peugeot 205 T16, not only did it save Peugeot from bankruptcy, it also gave us arguably one of the greatest rally cars ever. Feel the adrenaline in a world rally car. Come on! Get WRC Plus with exclusive onboard videos now.